So what we're going to do today is talk about actually um, finding the Hoopla app so that we can get um, through the library. You can get movies, music, uh, TV shows, ebooks, audiobooks, and that all for free with your library card. And um, we're going to run through the first time you actually find Hoopla and then sign up. This is a one-time deal, um, so you don't have to do it every single time. Once you get past this hurdle and you have the app and you're signed up with your library card, you just tap it and you go from there. Okay. So um, this is going to be the most difficult step. There's a couple things you're going to need. First, first you're going to want to make sure, of course, you have your tablet or your phone or wherever you want to view your um, books and TV shows and that on. Second, you're going to want to make sure that you're actually signed into an account, whether you use Apple or Android, you have to be signed into your um, the actual account that controls these. So for Apple, what you would need is your Apple ID, which is usually an email address, and your Apple password. Okay. Um, for Android, uh, let me just slip my glasses on here, I hope. There we go. For Android, what you would do is you would make sure you're actually signed into your Google settings, your Google account. So what you would do is you would look for the little settings icon and I'm going to tap the settings icon. And when those come up, what I'm going to then do is go and I can't touch the screen, but I'm going to go to the accounts and back up. Okay. So once I do that, I will touch the accounts and back up and then, sorry, I'll go right here to accounts and then just make sure I'm actually signed into a Google account there. If you are not signed into an account, it will literally have a plus and it will say add account. What you would do then is you sign in with your Google, your Gmail address and its password and then you can go directly to the Play Store and find Hoopla. So let me go back home from here. So you go to your settings first, you sign in. You can do this exact same thing on your Apple device as well. You would go to your settings, you go to your Apple ID. It's usually at the top of the settings and then just make sure you're signed in. Okay, so step two after that is to go to your app store. In this case, it is here called the Play Store. Okay, And... I'm going to tap the Play Store and it's going to load. And again, um, if you're using Apple, what will happen is the App Store will load and you'll get a little magnifying glass in the lower, as you look at it, the lower right hand corner of the screen. Now for Android, the search bar uh, with the magnifying glass is right at the top. That's what we need. So if again, if you're using Apple, you'll tap the magnifying glass and then search for Hoopla. Um, but if you're using Android, we'll just search at the top. So let me pull this back again. I'm going to tap the search bar and H-O-O-P-L-A. Okay. And there's a couple of suggestions that pop up. I know you can't see this. That's okay. It says Hoopla, Hoopla Digital Free, Hoopla Library App. I'm going to tap the Hoopla Library App and let's make sure that that is actually what comes up. Okay, good. Now, this becomes important because um, you want to make sure that this over here, uh, this blue hoopla, matches. This is the correct icon. This is what matches everything that's on our websites. Okay, so this, because it matches, then we know that this is the correct app. All right. So, uh, and then again, over here on Android, it simply says install. If you had an Apple product, it would say get and you tap it and it's free. So through the magic of video, we've gone ahead and we've hit install. And like I said, I know you can't see all of this. That's okay. Um, but right now it says open. So I'm going to tap the open button and um, get this so it's turned around a little bit here. And this is the opening screen for the Hoopla app. Now, what is going to happen? Oh, forgive me here. Okay. So as you look at this screen, you'll see here, if you're already signed up for a Hoopla account, um, you go ahead and put in an, a working email address and the Hoopla password. But since this is our first time, we're going to go right over here to where it says sign up. 
So when I tap that, this next screen will then come up. And we're going to input an email address, retype the email address. I went and entered the information. Let me go ahead and tap next. All right, now this becomes very, very important. Um, they're going to use your location to find your home library. Your home library is the library that is on your library card. Now, I had done this before in another building with another patron. We were putting in the wrong home library, didn't match what was on um, the patron's actual card, and we couldn't get past this step. OK, so it's really important to look at your library card if you're from North Tonawanda, if you're from Richmond Memorial out in Batavia. Hi, if you're out in Holly, if you're uh, out at Yates, that is your home library. And it's really important when this list pops up that you're going to um, go ahead and pick your library. Now, I'm also it asked me if I'm going to save my password. Not I'm not going to save passwords. Not now get away from there. So um, this is actually what I was just talking about to use your location to find your library. So let me click OK on that. And uh, then it asks a bunch of scary questions. Can Hoopla access this, that and the other thing? And you have to say yes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we have to allow. All right. And then um, this is the the important list again. You have to pick your library that actually matches your card. All right. Um, and Hoopla is uh, has equal access for everybody. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're from um, if Barker Library is going to be rebuilt. They have the exact same access. They're a very small library. That's OK. They have the exact same access as bigger libraries like Niagara Falls or North Kanawanda. Um, it's, it's all equal. OK, so we have to pick this. So once I pick my library, okay, it's going to say next. So I'm going to hit, hit next. Okay? And then last step, I promise, last step, um, you do have to then put in your library card number here. So once you've gone ahead, uh, again, the magic of film here. Um, I'm old. Film, what do they call it? Video taping? I don't know. That's all right. At any rate, once you've gone ahead and um, we signed in with the uh, email account, we made a Hoopla password, and then we picked our library. It's very important. Pick your, your library that's on your card, and then sign in with your library card number and its PIN. And then this is what you'll end up seeing when you come into uh, the app, the Hoopla app. Now, you can actually search for, and let me pull this a little bit closer here, um, but along the top here is where I really want to concentrate on. Um, you have, of course, the Hoopla logo over here. We have our magnifying glass. Remember, that always means that you can search. And uh, we have different categories. So we have audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, um, and television. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap movies. I hope. Let me see. There we go. OK. And so here are uh, different movies and they're sorted. It looks here by genre. Sorry. Popular. Uh, where does that uh, recommended and featured? OK, uh, my upside down reading skills only go so far. So uh, if I wanted to. So right now they're done by popular. So let me again just kind of turn and look. All right, so what I'm doing is you can just scroll through the collection to find something that you want. And remember, uh, there's no fines, there's no fees, there's nothing to return. So uh, if I pick something, uh, you know, even if I don't like it, it's OK. I'm good to go. All right. So. Uh, well, why not? Here, Noah Wiley. Here's the librarian. OK, classic. Why don't I go ahead? I'm going to tap the. Uh, cover photo for that. When I do that, I get a nice uh, dis description of the movie itself. Also, uh, one thing to note is that each item or each class of items, so movies, TV shows, they are available for different periods of time. Um, an ebook might be available for uh, up to 21 days. Okay, uh, TV show uh, or music, uh, CD, album, seven days. Here's a movie and this says this title is available for three days after you borrow it. OK, so that's fine. I'm going to go ahead right here and I'm going to hit borrow. 
And it double checks. Are you sure you want to borrow the title? It does again say it's available for three days and um, available for streaming and downloading. Are you sure you want to borrow it? Sure. So we'll borrow it and it says, please wait. Now, importantly, so I can actually watch it within these three days, I want to make sure I tap here to download. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to oh, Um, I was frantically tapping here to download and didn't realize that it actually said play here. So when I hit play, now, of course, it says resume. But when I hit play, um, it actually went ahead and um, started the movie. <laughs> And once the movie starts, you may or may not be able to hear it. Um, I can tap the middle of the screen and of course I can simply pause it. And when I want to uh, stop watching the movie or I want to read a book or do something different, I can go ahead and use my back button um, up here in the upper left hand corner and uh, it comes back. I'll back up one more time. I hope there we go. And it comes back to where I was with movies. And I can again search for anything I like. There's no fines, no fees, nothing to return. Um, lots of stuff to choose from. So um, I would like to say thank you and good luck. Happy hunting. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.